Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and in this video we will cover the technique Katate Dori Kokunage. There are two variants of this technique that we will show today. One of them is the projection forward and then the other one is the projection backwards. So we'll have a look at these two variants, we'll do a small demo and explanation as usually. So stay with us and enjoy the, the explanation. Okay, so today we will jump directly into the technique, into the explanation of the movements with a partner because the footwork is quite simple, so we will not cover it separately. And the attack is katate dori, so a simple attack here with the intention to give me some energy, to give me a little push, uh, right? And I do the same movement in the beginning as for the katate dori tainohenko practice. So I will step to the side of the front foot of uke, turn around with the Tenkam, and from here, I want to stay connected with a partner, close to the partner, to, to the uke, and I will move forward a little bit diagonally, and cut out with my hand here, doing the projection. So, if we show it maybe from this angle, if I do the complete technique, I will bring my center behind the wrist here, behind the point of pivot, I have to pivot around this point because if the uke is strong, I cannot move my arm. I connect, like with the tainohenko, and from here I will move forward, taking the uke with me, and finish with a kind of cut with the arm, going behind the uke energetically. And this cutting movement actually is coming from the movement with a sword. So I will take a short sword here, and as the attack is coming, so maybe I want to draw my sword. Sandra is blocking me here. So I go into the technique. I move into the projection, and as she is dropping, so slightly if you can go slowly, as she is dropping, I cut behind, uh, from underneath, from low to high, behind the uke, okay, or into the uke actually back. So the same movement applies then with the hand here. And this variant of a technique with a forward projection, it's, it's the basic variant. Uh, it's maybe not so easy when we do it in static, in Kihon, but it works very nicely in Kihon Agare. So if the uke is coming in with some energy, I can move and without stopping the uke, go into the projection, right? So actually I don't want to stop the uke slowly, very, very slow attack, slow motion. I don't want to stop the uke here, I want to connect and follow through giving this rotation. There is also the other version of the technique where we can make the projection backwards, right? Uh, send the uke backwards into the fall. We'll start it from this angle maybe. And here, this is a little bit closer to the Morote Dori Kokunage, right? So I will enter here a bit differently, also connect with the uke same way, and then go behind the uke using my arms, uh, lowering my center, uh, raising my arms so that the uke is taken by this, his balance is taken and, and uh, he's falling to the tatami. Okay, now uh, this can be also done in Kinonagara, of course. Here and sending the uke away. Okay, so let us know which one of these two versions do you prefer in your practice, if you do more of a forward one or the backward one. And see you soon in another video.